when today is the 45 year plan which ironically I am on which is quite bizarre because the rest of you are here is getting out of the 45 year plan and leaving the rat race and I personally and totally represent it because I work for a corporate organisation which is the 45 year plan but you know what, it is the second best place to be. It really is the first best place to be is our magnanimous network of course. So, you heard Margaret talk about our 90 year history. 90 years old we're going to be in about 9 days time. And for a few meetings I've been saying to people, and you know when I joined in 1923, which is fine, but people actually believing that. Let's get more of that serum. But they actually believe it. It feels like it sometimes. And I've had as equal many bosses along my time that I forgot to all about, and God knows how many have gone by. But the business has maintained its strength for 90 years. Now, it's worked on three simple principles. Now, you may or may not know this, but the principles have been very, very simple. They've been the principle of product. Our proposal to the customer has always been product, product that constantly sells. Like I always say, when we have it in stock, it sells. And we don't sell. Sell, I say, you know, use that term loosely because we don't actually physically sell it, the catalog does the selling for us. So it's a fantastic tool to be able to do that. Now it's done that one way, shape or form for 90 years, we have sold products. So the products do sell. Our second proposal has always been, or the proposition has always been about the fact that we pay commission. And we, it, it used to be called commission, now we have a compensation plan. Now, let me just tell you a quick, uh, a, a little bit about our compensation plan, for those of you that may not know. Our compensation plan is one of the best in the industry. For one simple reason, it offers unrestricted income. That is the magical word, it is unrestricted. You heard, you heard Andy B talk about business I worked in before, as a cosmetics company. And that company, my job was to help write their UK version of their compensation plan. And I remember putting a ceiling in because the people that owned the company wanted a ceiling put in for the earnings. Now that ceiling was £50,000 per annum. So nobody could earn more than that any year, no matter what they were turning over. Now, £50,000 per annum is a lot of money. However, you know, for those of you who've been in this business a while, that there's people in this organisation today that have taken that money every four weeks because it is an unrestricted compensation plan and while I'm talking about earnings do you know anybody in any company can go in front of any room and talk about earnings and say how amazing the earnings are and how much turnover there is but do you know one thing that makes us stand head and shoulders above anybody else is that we are transparent we publish all of our figures all of the time people cannot hype or exaggerate what they are doing so when I tell you that there's people that earn £50,000 every four weeks we publish their numbers whether they like it or not we are transparent, you always have been. That's the one quality mark of a good network marketing company is how transparent are their numbers. Because you'll hear many companies talk about their grand proposition, how it's a grand four opportunity, how it'll make millions for you, how it'll expand through the entire world and universe. But if they cannot prove their numbers, then they have failed the first mark of a good multi-level marketing company. We have always been transparent. Even when you haven't liked it, we've been transparent. So, the grand proposition has worked for 90 long years on the three principles of product, compensation plan, and most importantly, you hear me talk about this all the time, our people. We wouldn't have bugger all if it wasn't for our people, for our network, whether that was in 1923 or whether that is now. It is a business that has revolved around people, always will do, and always have done. There is no other principle that makes this business work other than the connections you make with other people. That's what builds our business. It's your ability to communicate, to relate, build relationships, that puts us where it is. And that, as Jeff Olson said to the New York where he was our guest speaker, that is the one thing that makes network marketing, particularly our business, 
so amazing. It's not just the product, because you can get products anywhere. It's not compensation plans, because there's plenty of those available. What really makes a network marketing company work, become successful, and continually in profit and growth is the people. And our people, as they were back in 1923, when I started, <laughs> it was quite a unique proposition there to be Asian in 1923 in the Tokyo being a business. But nevertheless, the proposition revolved around people then as it does now. And that is what makes our business so amazing. You know, that proposition of those proposal and proposition gets really exciting. Because guess who's had these great 90 years and we're really proud of them. And the heritage is fantastic. You know, we love that. Skills, knowledge, experience. What if we take all that, make the next 10 years the best we've ever had? Now, that's the proposition that we are going to propose to you in nine days' time. I'll try and tell you what we're going to do without actually telling you what we're doing in the next few moments. <laughs> so, the proposition is going to revolve around the same three principles I've really just already talked about. One of them is going to be products, one of them is going to be people, and then, of course, the grand plan. So, here we go. We want the next 10 years to be the best we've ever had. So, it's about making money, individuals making money, not about group turnover, not about business turnover, not about billion dollars or any of that. Yes, that's important to have those visions. But as I said, there is nothing more important than individuals making money. If every individual in our business makes more money than they are making today, our business will triple in the next 10 years. And that is a fact, and that's what we want to do. So the areas we're going to look at are quite straightforward. First, the grand proposition for you as distributors. How can we help our distributors earn more money? Well, that's quite simple, really. And I'm not promising anything. This, but this is what we're looking at and aiming at. I'm trying to skirt around the issue as you can really see here because we've only got nine days away. I'm dying to tell everybody what's going on. We're trying to do that really saying anything at all. <laughs> so the grand proposition to the distributor is let's try and cut their overheads. That's one thing. You know, if you're going to make money, one way is to cut the money you're having to spend. So let's, let's look at that. So we're looking at that with a huge magnifying glass and see where we can help that. So cut some of your overhead. The second one is even better because just simply to help the effort you're putting in now create a greater income. So if you didn't put any more effort in and all the effort you put in is what you're putting in right now, that should make you more money in no more than a few weeks' time. Now that's the grand proposition for our distributors. Why we have to do that is quite simple because our environment is changing. The competitors are coming on board. You know, I've never really found a solid co competitor of ours ever because I truly believe that our business is simple and duplicatable and anybody can do it. And that's the one basic flaw I found in so many businesses that not everybody was capable of doing it. That's what put ours up here compared to some of these here that were not as duplicatable. So, to make your business earn more money and to cut your overhead, that's the proposition to you. Right, second proposition is to your prospects. Now, we have found that the current installment plan is working really well. And I think you've found that as well. The installment plan, £35, uh, is working exceptionally well. And, you know, in most cases, in 99.9% .9 of the cases, starting with 250 catalogues is going to be successful. Of course, there will be one distributor who gets nothing, absolutely above the all, and lose all the books. There's always going to be one. Of course, it's a reality. It's a reality, but majority of speaking, you are going to earn an income with 250 catalogs. You know, nobody can guarantee success, but 250 catalogs will work for the majority of people. We're getting a lot of people coming aboard. So, if that's working, why not keep it? So, I'm not suggesting we are going to keep it, but I'm just saying, why not keep it or make it even better? That's the idea. So, the grand proposition for your prospects is make joining more economical than ever before, with greater value and a bigger potential to earn. Because we all know when people come on board and they earn more and they earn quickly, they're more likely to stay. Would you agree? Yeah. 
Yeah. Of course, you've never lost any people, have you? They all stay there. They all stay That's always staying. So, the proposition is, help them make more money, help them make it quicker, give them more potential. If we can do that to the prospects, more people will come on board. That will make your proposition even bigger because you'll make money from that proposition. So, that's the prospect covered and that's you covered. Now, if you think about it, there's only one other proposal we can make. There's only one other area that affects our business, and that's your customer. Our business revolves around three principles, customer, prospect, distributor. In my opinion, the distributor is the most important part of our business. Without distributors, we don't have anything, nothing at all. That is the greatest part of our business, that's you. Then the prospects, yes, we need new people coming in, it's the lifeblood of our business. However, we need customers to buy products. So, what we propose to do with the customers without saying anything at all, <laughs> any cats out of the bag is, look at the catalogue, look at what they're buying and get them to buy more. Huh, can't get any simpler than that. I know that's obvious, so obvious. Why didn't we think about it before? Anyway, so obvious. So what should we do with the catalogue? Well, you get some products in the catalogue, and this is the best example I can come up with. You'll say, for example, have a stain remover. I'm not sure why it's always a stain remover in my example, but it is. A stain remover. Why have five varieties of a stain remover? Why have products that don't sell as good as others. So in other words, what if the majority of the products were best sellers? Rather than having 20% best sellers, 80% that sell every now and again, why not turn the mix around? God, so simple, we didn't think about it before. So, put more best sellers into your catalogue. Couldn't get simpler than that. So the idea is, without telling you anything at all, <laughs> is to put more best sellers into your catalogue so your customers buy more. Not just best sellers though. What about better quality products as well? So, now you're thinking, well that's great, but when is this all going to happen? When are these changes happening? What's going to happen next? You know, the changes we're talking about aren't going to be 2014, 2015 or the next millennium. We're talking the next few weeks. We're doing these changes quickly, you know, and the, the, we, we have to because we need to remain competitive, we need to remain above the competition, we need to remain above, you know, our, even our own goals in this business. So, everything that you will hear about on May the 11th, you'll be given dates when it's going to start, and you will see that the majority of things that we're going to propose will be in place before the end of the summer. So that's how quick things that's, that's how quick things are going to change changing income. Whatever the reasons are, it's all about income. And that is what we have got to concentrate on. Whether you've been in the business twenty years, ten years or five minutes or you haven't even joined yet, the proposal has got to be better. And I can guarantee you that that is exactly what we've been working on. That's why there's so much excitement about the things that we're planning, because they're fundamental things. You know, they're not things that are going to happen in five years or ten years. They're fundamental things enabling us to change the process and principle of our business today. Because, you know, it's great to have the history that I keep talking about. It's great to have that. But there's nothing more important than the day we're in today and the next ten years of the future. And that is looking very promising. I mean, I've, you know, for 13 years, I feel like it's been a wave of excitement in this business. I've been, you know, it, there's never been a dull year in this business. There's never been a year where I thought, God Almighty, I really can't stand in this business any longer. It's so goddamn dull. It's never ever been like that. And I'm one of the corporate monkeys from the head office. I'm not even on the exciting part of the business. There's never ever been a year where I thought, no, there's no excitement. When there's no energy, there's no anticipation. It's been like that every year. This year started off with a huge amount of energy and excitement. But as the year has gone on and we've come up with these new ideas, it's more exciting than I've ever known it. And it's more exciting than I've ever known it because of one simple fact that I've already told you, that this business will make individuals make more money. There is no other principle to our business than individuals making more money. 
or enabling other individuals to make more. And as the Bible <laughs> says, Paul says, you know, if you help enough people to make get what they want, you'll get everything you want. And our business will grow and it will triple and it will get encouragingly high numbers if more people are earning more money. And you know, I always talk about my million people principle. And that principle is simple. You know, if you ask a million people would they like more than they have today? I'm convinced that one million of them will all say, yes, we would like more than today. And it doesn't matter who they are, whether they're multi-millionaires, or whether they're not earning a great deal, or they're on benefit, it doesn't matter. One million people will say to you, yes, I'd like more than I have today. And then you ask them a second question. How do you propose legally coming by that extra income? How do you propose to legally do that? And legally is a very important word here. And legally have more than you have today without hurting anybody, harming anybody, stealing from anybody, or doing any of that. How do you do that? And the majority of them, unless they're involved in an industry as ours, or our business, will have no method of getting more than they have. Because most people are in jobs, most of you are in jobs, most of you are not, you certainly have been. And you know when you went and increased your effort, you didn't necessarily get the accompanying reward. You didn't go and think, well, I'll work harder today and then get double the income. It didn't work like that. So a million people, majority, unless they're involved in a multi level marketing do not have a way of having more income. Yes, they can go and change their jobs. Yes, they can go and look for other jobs. But I'm talking about huge incremental increases that we can make as individuals in this organization does not happen in the corporate world, no matter how hard you work. It does not happen. So, a million people want more, a million people won't get more because they're not involved in an organization such as ours. And our organization, summed up simply in one sentence, network marketing is your ability to communicate, build relationships with people. Communicate and build relationships. And the better you communicate and build those relationships, the more people you help. Now, my point is that the million people principle is quite simple. It's that there's people suffering in our country today, and we all know they are. You know, we, we know that, we get told that every time we switch the media on. Every paper, every news report, every online report that comes out tells us that the country is in a desperate economic decline. It's in a global triple and quadruple digit recession. I don't know what we've been, I've even lost count of how many digit recessions we're in at the moment. But we're, you know, the company is in, dec the country is in decline, and so it's retail. And yet, our business is promising so much and the people who are suffering out there that don't know about us because they may have prejudged what we have. And one of my previous colleagues, uh, previous MD, and there have been so many, previous MD, we used to say the best thing about Clean Easy is that everybody knows us. And he used to say the worst thing about Clean Easy is everybody knows us. Because he meant they prejudge. People prejudge what our business is. And you know, and that is very true, and you've often heard me say, you know, there's people in my own family that still think I work for Kleenex. So <laughs> it is very much to be judged. So it's our, and I, I hate using this word, but it's so true, it's our job almost to entice a whole new generation of people into our business that could see this as a lifeline. You know, one of the most rewarding things working for Clean Easy, like I do, is A, seeing the success of people. You know, people who come in and they make something from the business and they create this lifestyle. There's nothing more rewarding than to see that happening and to see the growth I've seen in people in 13 years. It's absolutely outstanding. But bigger than that is not necessarily the millionaire lifestyle. It's not the, the, the cars or the destination. It's when you get simple straightforward, everyday stories where people say, you know, if it wasn't for Clean Easy, I wouldn't have paid my mortgage this month. If it wasn't for Clean Easy, I wouldn't have been able to put food on the table. If it wasn't for Clean Easy, I wouldn't have been able to watch my children grow up because thanks to Clean Easy, I didn't have to go and work and I'm a full-time parent. And it's stories like that that make me think that it's an outstanding business. 
you know, I, I, I love the idea of millionaire lifestyles, and I know that's all available. And I love the idea that you can just go and change your lifestyle forever. But for me, the most enticing, exciting, and exhilarating part of this business has always been the everyday stories of people who do say things like, you know, if it wasn't for this business, I'd never have seen my own children grow up. It's given me that time back in life. And when I think about that, I think, again, if you ask those million people, the million people principle, you know, what's the most valuable commodity you wish you could have or have back? And it will always be time, because the majority of us spend time working for people, not necessarily having the lifestyle. It's very rare you find a job that you absolutely love. Now, I really love my job because it's embroiled and all about people, and it always has been, and there's no better position to ever work in. However, most people aren't like that, and they'll give an arm and a leg to have some of the time back that they've lost. And it's stories like that that make our business so magical, and I don't use that word lightly because when, and we get a lot of letters of compliments, you know, saying the business has done this, the business has done that for us, and it's helped in this way. And the most heartwarming ones are always those ones where people have found time and they've got time to enjoy life because, as we know, it's so futile that, you know, if somebody's enjoying it, that little catalog company like ours, that's a very magical proposal. Not only is the proposition a huge one with 90 years of experience going on to the next 10, which are going to be a best ever, it's quite a magical proposal that can allow people to live the kind of lives they want. And not all about having huge income, but just to have time back in their hands, which, you know, as you know, is the most valuable commodity you could ever, ever have. You can't buy it once you've lost it, it's gone. The only way to have it is to do something that allows you to do the things that you really want to do, spend the time with people that you really, really, really want to be with. And that's what makes our business amazing, and yet, it's such a simple, duplicable business. Nobody says it's easy, but it's simple and it's duplicatable. So, in nine days' time, we're going to try and make it better than it's ever been. And that's the whole idea. Not about company turnover, not about, you know, destinations or anything, but about individuals just making more income. Because that's why people join. You know, when I first started in this business, and it wasn't really 1922, it was the year 2000. <laughs> and that's surprising for me, it was the year 2000. I was tagline used to be, ordinary people earning extraordinary incomes. I don't, we don't use it so much anymore. But that tagline used to say it all because, you know, it was just people who found this opportunity and they earned the income they wanted to just have an extraordinary life. And to me, an extraordinary life wasn't a millionaire's lifestyle. It was that principle of buying back time. And, you know, I, I really did just love that phrase. And you met know, lots of people in the early years because they continue to do. And as I said, the mm -hmm. most heartwarming gestures this business has ever enabled anybody to do is to have things like time back. So, the business is about to get bigger and better than it's ever been. Not that there's ever been anything wrong with it. I don't want to make it sound like it's broken and it's been fixed. It's not been broken. You know, for 90 years, the business still made profit. But let's not talk about profit. Let's not talk about that. Let's just talk about individuals. You know, every single person earning more. Every person you bring in earning money quicker. Every proposal you make to any prospect is all about them getting more than they have. And if we can do that to more and more people, more and more people we can help and have that extra lifestyle, this business will grow and it will be absolutely bigger than it's ever been before. So you see why we're all very excited about it. There's a lot of things happening. All that remains to be said is, you know, we wouldn't have that if it wasn't for our network. And I, I, I will never tire of saying this to our network, that without the network we don't have anything at all. We often call it a partnership. It's not, it's more parasitic than symbiotic because it's more late and heavy on your side because we couldn't do it without you, but you could do other things without us. So our network is what generates our magnetism and our power. It's our network that creates what we have. It's our network that puts it all together. It's our network's ability to communicate and relate with people that build this magical proposition to what it is. So, so thank you to you, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you at five minutes past seven in the day. So five <laughs> on the 11th of May at 4.3 at the ICC. Thank you for listening. Thank you.